Yeah, of course. Where that? Ah, we're on now, I think. Is that better? Yes. Can you see Bye. us now? I don't think we were added into the screen. There's <laughs> just a black screen. Right, we are here. Oh, we've got the team. Um, oh, we've got the team. We've got the team for the first. Oh, we've got a team for the first sixty minutes, and then a team for the uh, the final thirty oh, minutes. Oh, we've got the team. Uh, oh, yep, the yep, team. there we are. Oh, we've got a team for the first sixty minutes. So for the team for the first 60 minutes, we've got Maxwell, Howe, Ekpiteta, Thornley, Shaw, Antwi, Virtue, Anderson, Beanie, Kai Kai and Yates. So that's uh, he's mixed it up a little bit there, hasn't he? We can see you. Yes, you can see us. And the uh, oh, Connor, <laughs> say, hi, before. Connor. Uh, and then the team for the last 30 minutes is the trialist in goal, which I think he's the trialist from the second half last week, the goalkeeper. Uh, Garrity, Nottingham, Turton, MacDonald, Robson, Ward, Sharkich, Hamilton, Nuttall, and Medine. So, for those that are joining in this stream, hopefully, um, well, you'll be watching it on the game on Blackpool FC's um, YouTube channel, um, which can cause a bit of trickiness for some people, can't they? Because we're on YouTube and the game's on YouTube, so we're also streaming on Facebook at the same time. So you can watch us on Facebook and watch the match on YouTube if you can't do both at the same time. But we're going to be watching the game. At the moment, we're watching the wonderful uh, picture of Port Vale FC. It's slightly wonky. Stand. Yeah, it is actually wonky, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it needs just straightening up a little bit. And we're oh, a bit... oh he's, he's straightening oh. up as we speak. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, he's listening to us. <laughs> watching us. He's, he's... Oh, oh, no, all the got... players are coming out onto the pitch. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, this is good. Okay, so so players. Well, that line's out. a bit wonky as well. There, isn't it? That the the ground. The yeah, it's all a bit wonky. Black plus see if you. No, no, the the line on the pitch. Actual line on the pitch there. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. So here we got we've got Port Vale. Do we know? Ryan Dunbar said so we've got a good front three. Uh, yes. Is this the first half front three we're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Dunbar says it looks like we're watching it on a potato. potato. No, it's better than last week. Isn't it, it is better. It is better than last week. I think he he seems like he's got it on some kind of uh you know, he's not holding it. It's on a proper camera. Yeah. It's not on a mobile phone because he's zooming in and out. So it's a, it's not bad that. No, it's, it's a lot better actually and it's it's clear. So we have a well, little bit of sound. Can we have a little bit of sound so Philip O'Neill is going to watch the game while at work. That's all right then, Philly. Yeah, it's all right. You can do it while you're at work. Oh, we've got commentary. Oh, oh we've got commentary. Oh, we've got co commentary as oh, well. Oh, this is a development, oh, isn't yeah. it? Oh, yes. It's all right. We'll keep it on. It doesn't... We won't be able to. That's Martin Booker, isn't it? Is it Martin Booker? That, that was, yeah. Oh, wow, we've got proper commentary. Morgan Keane. Wow. Good after, good evening from Dunsborough, Western Australia. Wow. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah, it's a cool kit, isn't it, Port Vales? I like that. So we've got the keepers in, right? Yeah. Jane's favourite keeper. Oh, Chris Maxwell. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. Do you like the Port Vale kit? It's not that, isn't it? They've got they've got masks that match as well that look really cool. The, you know the black and white. Have they got mask masks on? Diamond. No, no, they sell them. They sell them Port Vale so. Oh, this is much better than last week, isn't it? Yeah, this is a, this this is a big upgrade on, on last week. They, they obviously read Mitch Cook's left foot blog and just realised that the picture was terrible, but that's. That, that, that's quite no, good. Right, is, we've kicked yeah. off. We're off. We're kicking as we're looking at it. We're kicking left to right. So, yeah, we're all ready. We're all ready up. Oh, yeah, this is way, yeah, way we've got common. We've got commentary, so we know who the players are. We couldn't make anything out last week, but this is this is very good. Yeah. Put them under pressure, lads. It was, it, it was, it was last week without the commentary. It didn't, it didn't work. Did it it? Was really... You didn't know where the players were. You couldn't see who the players were. But this is it's almost oh, like a proper. Like a in the proper court match. possession there. Back to the keeper, and it's cleared. Long upfields to nobody. That's it. Get your head in there. 
Oh, Neil's here. Hi, Neil. Ryan Dunbar saying, "Will um, what's he putting up? Will yes, Morgan Keane from Dunsborough, Western Australia." Ryan's asking about the commentary on Radio Lancashire. There's actually commentary on the YouTube, so we're sticking with that. Oh, oh, we lost it there for a minute. Still got to get to know who these players are, aren't we? Ross is here. Hello, Ross. From Cebu in the Philippines. Hope Andrea's okay. Uh, with a broken shoulder. Uh, she yeah, she fell, didn't she? Broke oh, her elbow. Yeah. It's not very good. So I hope she's doing well. So give her my love. And also we've got... To Tangerine dancing, a much better camera today for the match. I yeah. totally agree. Yes, it's a lot more, it's a lot better. It's almost like watching Sky. Except we're interested in the match that they're showing, which we wouldn't be on Sky. Lawrence said, What's coming, you mighty pool? Great to see you both again. You're doing a great job. Keep up the great work you're doing. Oh, thanks, Lawrence. That's very kind. Oh, it's gone off again. Oh, it's back. We're just losing a little bit of transmission with this. I don't know if you, you guys are losing the same. So we've had the full uh, pre-season programme announced this week, haven't we? So shall we have a have a, just a little talk through that? Um, Napa's mum is here. We've got matches every every Saturday, every Tuesday. We actually play at one o'clock on Tuesday afternoon, which, uh, which is a bit weird, but uh, we're at home to Barrow on Tuesday afternoon. I've got the week off, so that works all right for me. So... Can watch that one. We'll be, we'll be back here at one o'clock on Tuesday. Oh. Uh, uh, next Saturday, we're at home to Everton. Ooh, uh, be a good one, aren't it? a, a week, good, Tuesday good at seven o'clock, we are at home to Blackburn Rovers. And then the following Saturday, we're away at Oldham. So. Just said a hello to Rory in Australia. He's predicting 5 0 to the pool. Very confident, Rory. Yeah. It's close to midnight out there, I should imagine. Connor Moy says so he's watching the match on my computer and this live stream on my phone whilst also playing FIFA 20 in Blackpool manager mode. Oh gosh, you're so, uh, multitasking there. I didn't, it, think, I didn't think men could do that. Obviously, Connor Moy can. Oh, very impressive. George Case has thoughts on Fleetwood what, um, in general, or just yeah, do you mean thoughts on how they're going to do this season? Who knows? I mean. They look like they're strengthening a bit as well. I think they'll be up there this season again. But we'll be higher, obviously. But I think we're going to finish higher this season. I think we're going to get promoted this season. I am very confident. No, I'm not frightened of anyone else this season. I think we're we're doing everything right and you know, yes, we're, the club. We're, we're strengthening and we've got a good pre-season programme in. Um, what do you guys think about the the cup draws and, you know, the, 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 the cup scheduling because obviously we, I, I was thinking we might not have the league cup or a, a league trophy this season but we've got both of them and then the first four weeks of the season it's league cup every every midweek so what, what do you guys feel about that it's, so there's going to be a lot of fixture congestion there isn't there there is there's going to be a lot we've See, got 13 midweek league games as it is and then all these cup games as well if we if we do well in those a club's going to want to proceed in cup competitions this season if it means fixture congestion or or is it kind of a good thing to have them at the start of the season week after week just to, to get the players fitness up at the beginning of the season maybe just see c, c doyle hello c doyle uh, asking us which who do we support we support blackpool we support blackpool football club yes we do the mighty so. tangerine wizards yes the mighty tangerine wizards and today we're playing a pre-season friendly at port vale and we're watching it and hopefully you guys are watching it and you can tell us what you think of the game so far it's all a little bit uh nobody's really got in control of this game at the moment are they? We're, we're struggling to put our foot on the game port vale, port vale looking very lively i think Oh, Seed Oil is watching this on his TV. Yes, oh, right, we're, cool. we're watching it on our TV as well. We're watching the match on the TV. Yeah, we're watching the match on the TV whilst we're talking to you. I really so do like that Port Vale. Get a little bit excited. Ooh. I'd buy that. 
which that port veil kit is ace. Oh, yeah, it's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's just quite a cool kit. Mm. And I wouldn't buy it. What's it got on the front of it? It's like a, like a diamond. It's sort of a, yeah. yeah. It's a bit tricky, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. I wonder who does Very that different. Kit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's quite nice that. Corner support veil. Ooh. Okay, Clears. Come on, Blackpool. Set this ball up. Go on, Fiends. Oh, here we are. Ryan says, "Do all of this." Uh... Oh, I know. I'm going to put. I'm going to put. I'm going to put your comments up now. Uh, Ryan, I totally agree. He said, Dor will love this. He was watching Thogden's live stream on Barca versus Bayern. His reaction to the goal was so fake. It was as if they won the World Cup, never mind going one up. It was. You showed me that this morning. I, I, I said exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. It's, it's definitely a different kind of football vlog, isn't it? Because they just, it's like they're actors and they're, they're Pretending acting, to they're acting parts. It's not, you know, it's all we like to think that, well, I mean, we are just, we're just ourselves, really. And, yeah, give authentic reactions if we're upset about something. You know, I was crying at Lincoln, but uh, you know we don't fake things for the for the telly. It's and I know yeah. I appreciate that that's how TV works and things are orchestrated, aren't they? It just but looks so fake, doesn't just, it? Yeah, it's very. I, I mean, I, I said to Jane, if that was a World Cup final and England were playing Germany and those and the goals were going in like that, you'd. I, I don't even think I'd scream that much even at the World Cup final. You know what I mean? A bit. It was just so wrong it, yeah. in every way. It, it oh, just looks so bad. Oh, oh. Dan says Robbie Williams designed oh, that kit. This wow, season. wow, really? Did he yeah, really? He's very talented, isn't he? Then? Robbie Williams designed that kit. Yeah, he's, well, he's well, well, he's a big football veil fan, isn't he, Robbie Williams? Yeah, so. he is. Brilliant. Yeah, it's definitely. Tangerine Dan ne never liked Thogden, really. No, he's. It's just it, a different. It's not everybody's cup of tea. He's an acquired taste, I think, isn't he? Yeah. Taste. He's not. I'm not really too keen on him either, but it's but you know he you can't knock him for what he you know for what he's done. He's, he's, yeah, he's done very. He's, he's been very he's successful. Got, if I only got half of his success, I'd be over the moon. To be honest, it's it's amazing how many subscribers and views they get, and it's incredible. But but we're well, looking um, on top here at the moment. Yeah, but he is just he's, he's real marmite, isn't he? The police in the corner there. What have you got a police at the game for? <laughs> I don't know. It's Nick, a bit unnecessary. Nick Muller says Robbie is on the board at Port Vale. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, he basically said uh, on YouTube last night that he won't be going to Bolton anymore. Well, who can blame him? I must admit, it, it must be hard work going to Bolton. But you think with Evo there and the Evo revolution, it could yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, on the pitch, things should certainly start to improve. He's a great appointment for Bolton, much as we, we don't like him having gone there ever. It's... Ryan Dunbar is asking the question that uh, when we go one up today, will we both be running up and down the room celebrating? Oh, uh, yeah, perhaps. perhaps go on! You're going to take your shirt off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on, just... well, it was weird last week because I was watching back so like, when, 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 when we scored our that. first goal last week it was you know I was like well have they scored because it was weird because the players weren't celebrating and obviously you don't have any any commentary or any crowd noise that no. you kind of rely on you do rely on these things sometimes when you're not quite sure and you, you just don't realise how much you miss you miss the fans and the fans reactions and you know the the, the the oohs and ahs. You know, and it's it's a very different experience, isn't it? But at least we've got the commentary this week, which and, and we can see the players. So this is this is you know hundred percent better than last week. Looks like Port Vale might score here. They're they're very much. On they top. are a bit on top of us at the moment, yeah. aren't they? Uh, very nice from Napa's mum. Saying that we're doing amazing with our podcasts and live streams. She says, keep keep going, keep up the good work. Thank you. Fab from us both. That's brilliant. We're both fab. Oh, that's nice. Well, we're certainly a bit more real than Fogden and his dad, <laughs> aren't we? They're just not real. They're not real people, I've decided. They're like, it's like a... Caricatures of car themselves. Caricatures almost. of themselves, yeah. yeah. I think... I know what you're saying, Ryan, with that comment that, uh, you know, if you support a club as a blogger, you should focus on that club and do big clubs, uh, you know, every now and again. But they've 
they've decided they don't want, want to do that and they're going to follow, you know, they're going to just go to different games. And and there are vloggers that do just, you know, just, just go I to suppose, random games. You know, they don't follow a club. You know, so. they're doing what they, you know, they feel they need to do to grow their channel and it's been very successful for them. So, you know, good luck to them. It's it's not for everybody. And, you know, you do get, you do get ground hoppers, don't you? At, at, certainly more at non-league, I suppose. Yeah. You get people who, who, who aren't affiliated to a particular club and they just like watching football. So it's just, it's just something different. They've chosen to do that and... And good luck to them. I mean, I'm sure they have a great time traveling around all these grounds and and that. So I, I kind of get it. I get what I, I totally understand why they do it. Right. C Doyle is saying, "Come on, the Seasiders." His prediction is two nil. What what are we predicting here at the moment? It's uh, we're not really stamping much authority on this game. No. I was going to go for about. To be honest, I was I was going to go for three one. Did you not say four nil? No. no. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Uh, Jill is saying, Napa's mum saying, uh, read the conversation Jane was chatting about. There are 300 COVID tested people sat at the snooker in Sheffield. Why not the footy? Yo, oh, don't get me started. I'm just going to get angry again. Yes, it's, it is ridiculous. I was reading something on Twitter this morning. One of the, one of the, um, Clubs at like around about step five, I think they were saying normally they get seven percent of their capacity at any given home game, at your average home game. So in situations like that, I mean, why why you can't let fans in? I mean, I really it it I it well I, I yeah I understand it's not you know vital to the economy, and I think that's where they're they're looking at things from that side of things, aren't they? And obviously football at higher levels, you know, elite sports is, you know, brings money in, doesn't it? But non-league football really does the economy need non-league football? But conversely, does do those communities need their football clubs? They're so important. You know, I know from my time at Chase Town where you know, it's people's lives. People live at the club. You know, they, they volunteer there, and they, you know, they they they, they go to the social events there. The, you know, the Chase Town. They had bingo and Skittles nights and quizzes and you know the matches once or twice a week. And to 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 have that removed, I know that they were allowed to open the social clubs now, but you know, to not not allow fans into football when realistically, you know, Chase Town got maybe between one hundred and thirty and two hundred and fifty. At matches, really, social distancing not an issue at all. I not think, really. No. I think if you, you know, I, I think, you know, clubs and, and the FA, well, maybe it's they're really worried. They're, they're worried about um, like the insurance side of things. If if someone decides to sue, well, you know, if if you get people signed in a disclaimer before they go in, does that not remove that problem? I don't know. It seems very sad. It seems like they're not looking after the little guy. And and of course, for me, non-league football is not just about, you know, non-league football. It's about the whole structure of football in the, you know, in England, uh, you know, and that's the way it's, it, you know, kids come through these non-league clubs and it's, it's all valuable, you know, look at Jamie Vardy, you know, I mean, playing for England, they come through non-league. You know, so you don't want to get rid of your grassroots football. It's very, very, I just can't. Very I can't important. believe more clubs haven't gone already. To be honest, I can't. Uh, this is a thing. Did you know an ex-Blackpool comedy tour legend was director at Chase? Name him. Um, gosh, I probably ought to know that. Blackpool comedy tour legend. No, I'm not sure. I do know that one. Tell me. <laughs> Ryan says he'd love to see a stump peg and Lee Charles TV collaboration. Well, we have messenger about our vloggers podcast on a Monday, but uh, we've not had a reply from us, so I don't know on that one. And Nick Muller says most people watch Thogden because of Bolton. He did, and then he stopped. So he unsubbed from him and subbed to stump peg. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, she's great. Stump she's absolutely great. wonderful, and she's she's a, she's. A, well, I mean, she's doing very well. She's over 100,000 subscribers now, but she's really funny. If you haven't checked out Stump, Stump Peg, have a look at her on YouTube. She's She really is fabulous. 
But again, not really covering. She's another Bolton fan, not really covering Bolton so much, but she does sometimes. John Hall John Halley is here and he is saying that he's walking down from Bispam into Blackpool Beach and Prom pretty full social distancing. Joe. Yeah, yes. I was in town the other day and there's it's just not not happening really. But you know, I think you know, touch wood we're we're surviving so far, Blackpool, but I think we're on the watch list now, aren't we? The good thing Jane was saying about <laughs> COVID nineteen is they all they all come here, catch it, and then go back home. So they all take it well, back. I'm to not work. saying they catch it here, but if they you know if they, <laughs> if they, if they, are, if there are people they, that have it, they're, they're all going know, back somewhere else. So. They take it home with them, don't they? So. We're not staying here. Um Seed Oil again. Uh, I'm watching on the Blackpool YouTube channel. What about you? Yes, that yeah, is exactly we where we are. Oh, this is it. totally worlds apart from last week, isn't it? It's, it's great to see that they've improved. Ask Frank Carson. Oh, did I know that? Frank Carson. Um, I'm not sure whether uh, I did. It's ringing the vague bell in the back of my mind. Neil uh, says more clubs will be going bump. Yes, they will. Yeah, I totally agree with that. They will be going bump. Oh, I think they've just given the uh, pre-seasons about fitness, not results line there. I was, I was used that on oh, pre-seasons oh, as well. We're not I'll winning. Be there. No, oh, it's put out for a corner. Blackpool have got a corner. It's just quite tricky, that, that isn't it? That's nice. It's isn't great, it? yeah. It's a really it's good like shirt. an American sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like an American. I like that, actually. It's a bit, I generally don't it's like white shirts, but that is that is a nice one. Yeah, I mean, it's football shirts. It's, 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 I mean, honestly, some of the Blackpool shirts, although this is a new one, it's not much different, really, to all, to many other shirts where they've had the white. You know what I mean? It's not, mm. like, mega different. You don't think, oh, that's so totally strange and unusual. Right, so here we go. Oh! oh. Oh, oh, got a block in. Yes, um, Nick Moore's saying that Stump Peg uh, actually comments you back as well. She actually replies to comments, which is good. Yeah, but I mean, Thogden gets that many comments. I don't think you could possibly keep up with it all. It's, you know, it's that, it's that big in here. You know, you know, the, the big YouTubers, you, get mil you know, imagine if you had like a million oh, yeah. subscribers and 50,000 comments on your video. You can't re respond to them all. So I suppose the bigger you get. Oh, okay. Ryan Dunbar said that he was watching a snooker, snooker game show, Big Break, during the week, and he appeared on it. And I went on the internet, and that's what I said, and I thought, only thought to tell you. It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. We're going to be snookering you tonight. Big enough. Break, is that still on? Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, I used to love the snooker, me. I've not followed it, to be honest, this year. Connor Moy says, one of the chefs that I work with is a Bolton fan, so we have some banter. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh, is he... Uh... I would imagine... I'm seeing, it must be awful being a Bolton fan at the moment. Oh. Well, I mean, they, are, they have got a bit of hope this season, haven't they? They seem to be signing all ex-Blackpool players, so... Yeah, but you just bit... wonder what... You know, I think they're still in a mess financially, yeah, aren't they? financially. You can't actually believe they're still, still alive. Tangerine down on Lucky Blackpool. Yeah, it was a little bit unlucky. We kind of broke to us, didn't it? But just, just got a block in. I went to the snooker last year. I got uh, I uh, applied for tickets. I got tickets for the uh, you know the Blackpool guy who beat Ronnie O'Sullivan. I was at that session. I couldn't believe it when I got the tickets. You know, you just get buy tickets for a session. You don't know who you're going to see. And it was yeah, that was awesome. And he beat Ronnie O'Sullivan, did he? Yeah. I was just, oh, go on, go on, go on, take it. Oh. Pen? Oh, surely, referee. What are you watching? Blimey, that, that looked like a penalty, didn't it? It did. Well, he's not booked in for diving, so... Oh, has the keeper got a man bun? Seasider on tour. Here we are. <laughs> I'm married to a Bolton fan. It, a Bolton fan. It's either me or the club that makes any press. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Probably the club, Seasider on tour. Yeah. Probably the club. <laughs> oh, bless her. That's her. But she's got Evo now, so... John Virgo, yeah. Yeah, he Ryan's was... saying it, it's not on now. He, he wishes it was, does he? What's he saying? It's not wishing it would be brought back. Good old TV. Put as many balls as you can. Yeah, well, you know, all them shows. Yeah, you think about great, how good they? Bullseye was, you know. It's really good. 
Yeah, Snooker used to be massive back. Uh, there was a there's a program on BBC. I don't know if it's still there on iPlayer about Alex Higgins and and his story and all about snooker in in the eighties. And it's a really good show. I don't know. I'm gonna have a look see if it's still on there actually. Oh, if you're not watching this Nappers Monk, I better not put that up. <laughs> She's saying Ben thinks he's going for his new season ticket and shirts on Monday. I'm one step ahead. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, he can't be watching then, can Ben? He won't be giving that away, Mrs. Nappers. Will it? Mum, Ben's mum. Oh, he did well in his uh, A-levels, I think, didn't he, Ben? Oh, yeah. Oh, strike it, Rich. What? What the bet? What? I used to love, I used to love Michael. Strike it lucky. Barry Moore, it? yeah. Was, strike it lucky, yeah. yeah. It was weird, Michael Barrymore, though, wasn't it? Was, it was so uh, let's not go into Michael was, Barrymore. Was, no. Oh, come on, Pool. We're getting into this game. We're getting a little bit on top. Feeney's causing problems down this right, isn't he? We're just looking a little bit better than we were. We, 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 we're kind of getting into the game a bit, putting them under a bit of pressure, which is what we want to see. That's it. Come on, that's it. Keep closing down. Oh, Connor's, Connor's, Connor's got a man bun. Sorry, Connor. <laughs> I didn't say there was anything wrong with man buns. I was just remarking on the fact that the goalkeeper's got Ooh, a man bun. <laughs> that's a foul. That's a foul. Thank you. Thank you, linesman. So the fixtures are out on Friday, which is exciting. So we can, uh, well, it's not quite as exciting as it, it would be because we can't really plan any trips. We're hoping that Plymouth and away. Portsmouth are in the first... Before Christmas, aren't we? Yeah. So we don't have to go. I don't want to miss Wigan. Ah, see, Sarah, so I asked the question on everybody's lips at the moment. Will Kieran Dewsbury Hall join or is he destined for bigger things? I, I think, think, uh, I, think he's I think maybe we need to let that one go now. I'm not sure. I think he would have signed sure already. And do we have a vacancy in that area, really? Or is, that, is that what we're looking, where we're looking to strengthen? Or did the guy from. Um, the guy from Sunderland, maybe athletic with an eye for goal, potentially. Can we just go through the team again for that? Anybody that's arrived late, who's who, who we got in the team today? This is obviously they'll probably change it all second half, like they did last. Uh, with last half week. an hour to go, they've got a team for the first sixty minutes and a, a team for the next. Oh, a team third. for the first sixty this time, right? So we're not yeah. swapping everything at half time. No. Uh, we have uh, the team for the first 60 minutes, Maxwell in goal, um, Teddy Howe, Ekpateta, Thornley, Shaw, Antwi, Virtue, Anderson, Feeney, Kai Kai and Yates. Yates. So we've got Kai Kai and Yates up front, haven't we? So we've got the exciting forwards there, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. So he's obviously, well, he's, well he's, not con he's not started like he did last week with Medine and Nuttall up front. Too, no, they're coming on um, for the last half hour. Right. Maybe maybe tire the team out and then bring them on. Yeah, Pompey before fans coming in would be good for me. Definitely, <laughs> definitely would. I think I think the main problem with with Pompey was that it was scheduled for Easter Monday, which just made it really tricky uh, with the public transport because it was impossible to get there and back on the day. And I was going to fly in the end because I just couldn't face fourteen hours on a coach. Napa's mum is saying, Jane is so funny, you've got to get her on the telly. I am on the telly. We're on telly. We're on TV. <laughs> we're on YouTube the TV. is TV. Yeah, we're on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yes, YouTube is TV. It's, uh, in fact, people watch more YouTube than they do actually TV nowadays, don't they? Kids only watch bloody YouTube. Uh, oh, Neil wants me to say the team again. Yeah, uh, that was... Uh, so we've got Maxwell in goal, who I like very much. Best keeper here for, for years, I think. Um, Teddy Howe, uh, Marvin Ekpateta, who's the tall guy at the back. I'm, I'm excited about him. Uh, Jordan Thornley, Nathan Shaw, Cameron Antwi, Matty Virtue, Keshi Anderson, Liam Feeney, oh. Sully Kai Kai, who excites me greatly, and uh, Jerry Yates. It was, oh. Did anybody see, um, I was in the pub on Thursday night. Pressurising. 
And they did a little clip um, on Sky, an interview with Neil Critchley and Jerry Yates. Did anybody see that? Because I had it on in the pub and I could see it, but there was no sound and no subtitles. So I don't actually know what they said. Um, so if anybody can uh, post in the comments, that would be uh, interesting to hear. What do we make of the Celtic player going to Spain for a day? Thought oh, it was Oh yeah, ridiculous. my friend was telling me about that last ridiculous. night. Yeah, went to went to Spain for 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 a day, came back and then played in in a match. It's it's really, yeah, but the young lads aren't they? You know, it's 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 a problem. It's a problem, and it is going to happen. And, and how do you how do you deal with that sort of thing going forward? It's it's frightening. Really. Tangerine Dan Warren is so close to moving house. Cannot wait. Room reveal will be coming soon, so stay, stay tuned. Oh, well, so you can have a exciting. new room oh, to, to vlog from. Oh, well, good luck with that. We shall check that out. Tangerine Dan 1. Oh, good. Oh, nearly. Oh. And again, and again. Oh, I'm blocked there, again. Blimey. Two block. Sorry. He's a good player, isn't he? We just, we're just lost. lost at just the, look how tricky they are with the feet. I oh, know. We do look tricky, don't we? Yeah. Kept it in, kept it in, kept it in. That's it. Oh, we do look good going forward, don't we? Yeah, we do. Oh, go on, go no, no, nah, pushed him out of the way. Oh, lucky that bit of a chance there, Blackpool. It's a tough yeah, game, this, because Port, Port Vale are really going at it 100%, aren't they? They're closing down everywhere, so yeah. they seem to be giving us a lot of space, though. Or are we just finding the space? I don't know. Right, what's this? God, uh, we're going to be good. This is only the second I mean, game. Nick Muller is saying his granddad's brother was five times world champion billiards player in the in the first world uh, snooker final. He was the Ronnie O'Sullivan of the 1920s and 30s. Oh, wow. There's videos on YouTube. He was called Tom Newman. Oh, brilliant. Wow. Antwi has got skills. Yes, he has got skills. Yeah, we should have scored. <laughs> I've never seen Blackpool this good in pre-season. This is just no, this look, is a different level. This is. It is. We're looking good. We're looking very exciting when we go forward. I've got to say, and this Port Vale are really giving it everything they got. They're, they're not, you know, they're closing down and every good ball all this out to the right winger. Look at oh god! Look at all that coverage there at the back. Wow. Oh, it's give a penalty. Oh, they've got a pen. All right, Port Vale have got a penalty. I suppose replays is a bit much to ask for, is it? Oh, he's got a man bun as well. What's going on here? Have they just not been going to the barbers uh, over the summer? Or? They've got a penalty. How'd you hit the ball with a man bun? <laughs> The first goal of ever six months. Oh, oh, and he's missed. That was a oh, cracking penalty. <laughs> <laughs> feels like it feels a bit of justice there, yeah, to, oh. to, to be honest. It was a very soft penalty, I agree. <laughs> it's, it's uh, yeah. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Peter, Peter Donnelly. So this is, sounds like adds, it's, um, uh -huh. <laughs> it's Port Vale, I think, providing this... This, oh, go on, um, go on, go footage. on. Oh, my gosh. Fiends, what were you doing there, man? Flipping it. So this is Port Vale's coverage. This isn't isn't us filming this, I don't think. Tangerine Dan says, my nan could have taken a better penalty than that. <laughs> it wasn't the best, was it? <laughs> but it's pre-season for everybody, you know. Dan uh, Heatley. Been since he's taken a penalty. Probably a long time. Same bloody hell, Pope. <laughs> 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 Take it to Dan is a Port Vale. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah. Ryan says Stevie Wonder could have taken a better penalty than that. Oh, well, bless. They was like they haven't played football for a while, have they? So, you know, got to allow them to be rusty. Cameron Craig. Cameron Craig. Oh, my need, Cameron. Need knots on the wing. Mm. Michael Nottingham. Yeah, maybe. He played quite well, didn't he, in the first. Uh, in the first game, he played all right. It was strange with Nottingham because he always looks a decent player, I always think. But yeah, he didn't seem to get a look in last season, did he? And he went out on loan anyway in the end, didn't he? 
I thought he'd gone, to be honest, but obviously not. I can't really have that for me. Have they got police there in case fans try to get in, do you think? Kai Kai to score. Yeah, Kai Kai to score again, I think so. I love Kai Kai. I'm very much looking forward to seeing him. This Brian is... Dunbar says, oh, I'm wrong one there. It's moving too fast. Beans and Hardy are meant to be away, are meant to be away, are they? I don't know. But well, well, Hardy's going for a season-long loan to Plymouth. I we're still not sure about Feeney. It's, well, I think looking at uh, if, if we're only allowed to have twenty-two in the squad for next season, then I think there are some areas where we perhaps have more players than um, than, we need. than are required. So. I think we need maybe maybe someone at the back, possibly. Uh, some what's this here? Um, Seaside on Torso's mate who uh, follows crew wants wants uh, Nottingham back. Yeah. Yeah, he did very well. He yeah. seemed happy there, didn't he? So. And then on the other side of the coin, <laughs> Simon Thompson says, "Hi, Simon." Says Nottingham is shocking. Should not be a football. Oh, it's harsh. I think, well, I think even with, with players that perhaps didn't stand out previously under Neil Critchley's coaching, he, we should see them all become better players, one would hope. Kai so. Kai is Seed Oil's, keep calling you Seed Oil. I don't know what, what, what actually your Christian name is, but we'll go with Seed Oil. Oh. CD, maybe, should we call him? Kai Kai is my favourite player. Yeah, I think he's my favourite player as well. I, I like the goalkeeper. I do like him, Chris Maxwell. Thoughts on the CJ Hamilton signing? Well, looks okay, doesn't it? It looks okay. I can't really say until we... It was difficult to see last week, really. <laughs> I always have a lot of hope. Yeah, well, you can't have hope pre-season. When can you? I think this Tangerine. is why we stopped going in the end. Tangerine Dan asked the question, is it time for Messi to leave Barcelona to join the mighty Seasiders? A shambles last night. Versus Bayern. Well, I think he wants to leave, doesn't he? Anyway, I don't know. Whether he's... Oh, I think I think that was just. I uh, think he's changed his mind. He's staying now, and they're signing Ronaldo. Are they now? They've, Ronaldo's been offered to to Barcelona. Oh, okay. Mm. God, yeah, Messi. And I'm, I'm not sure how that would work with the the salary cap, though. <laughs> Well, he probably doesn't need the money, does he? Pete Donnelly saying, remember when the Prem introduced a squad limit back in 2010, Arsenal had a potential 60 players to choose from because of all their under-21 players. Well, yeah, this is it, isn't it? Yeah, so, they got round it all, didn't they? Is it, I think it's 22 over over 23s. Is right, it? we've got a we've got a dangerous free kick here, Blackpool. I'll just... Uh, no. Oh, it's come out. Still got it. Still keep possession, Blackpool. Oh, the ball! Yeah. Oh, oh, how was that not in flipping it? Jerry A. Oh, my gosh. I'm very excited about Jerry Yates, actually. To have a striker who knows where the goal is, it's been... It's been a while, really. I know Nangelay got a few last season, but you know, just have like a real, a real hungry, exciting, prolific striker that Yates looks like he, he could be potentially. I'm very excited to see what he delivers. Those goals he scored for Swindon last season, his penalties. Her Simon Thompson says, Herbie could be getting banning, banning guy from the top. He's on loan, will be a good loan signing. Canty type of player to play the holding midfielder. Oh, I don't okay. know him, but I'll take your word on that. Big Steve, Big Steve E. Maybe Vandenberg on loan from Liverpool will, will be worth a look. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what, what we do in the loan market because I don't think we've got any loan players in yet, have we? But I guess you don't need to do your loan business maybe until a little bit later on because you'd be paying the wages for longer, wouldn't you? John Halley, what's this? I have the match day program from Bell versus Blackpool 2003. Barnes, Grayson, Jack, Jackson, yeah, O'Kane, sure. yeah, yeah. Hughes, Flynn, Wellens, Thorny, Murphy, Taylor, Dalish, Coy. First 12 names in the in the program manager, Steve Matt Marn. Wow, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Tommy Jackson. 
Jackson. Jackson. No, I can never say it. Can say it now. <laughs> How Kana needs to watch his temper, says Tangerine Dan. Yes, maybe. Nick Muller says, it's the worst season for Leeds to go up. They go up and no one can go. <laughs> a bit cheaper for them, will not it? <laughs> uh, we're joined by Loudmouth BFC. Hello, Matthew. Hi. He's one of our regular podcasters on our new show on a Monday night. He's a Barnet fan. If you haven't checked out his channel yet, it's Loudmouth BFC. It's, he's absolutely brilliant and he's going to be a well, he already is a star. He's a, he's a finalist in the Football Content Awards. And, uh, as are we. It, it, as, as, yeah, as we are. And it's a pleasure to have him on Monday night, the Football Vloggers podcast, which this week we're going to have, well, hopefully, surprising news, we'll have Benjamin Bloom joining us. So for anybody who follows his channel, he's going to be on our uh, podcast. Virgil van Dijk on loan. Yeah, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? You know, could do with him, couldn't we? Virgil van Dijk on loan, dreaming. It'd be interesting to see actually how heavily we do rely on the, the loan market this season. You know, while we're waiting for these young players to come through over the next few years that we've got coming in for the academy, or whether or whether we're going to start blooding the young players already. Mm. So you said on tour saying that Egg Potato looks at, is a unit, he's massive and looks good on the ball. Yeah, he is massive, isn't he? It's, it's what we need. He's, yeah, he's an he's interesting. A, he's a big centre half. Player, isn't he? Actually, I quite like the way that, that, that I mean that that tackle that he won there. You know, he went in, he, he, he dispossessed the guy, and he was just sort of like leaning in, almost like a sprinter leaning in for the line, just trying to get his you know his head and his shoulders into the in, into the way to, to to get towards the ball. It was interesting, interesting gait. Ryan Dunbar is saying he didn't go a week. I don't go a week without seeing Matthew without saying, Good morning, Treacles. <laughs> he does, yeah. I, I can't do it in there it's as loud as he does it. He's a, he's a character. Yes, we're really good, Matthew. Really good. We're, we're watching. Um, we're it's, it, it's nil nil. We are, it is a bit hot, actually. Yeah. Mm. It's nil nil here. Um, Blackpool have probably had a better. better um, Better of the chances, but Port Vale got a penalty, which which was uh, they put wide. I think Blackpool look, do look exciting going forward, which is brilliant. It's what you want to see, isn't it? Or you haven't seen well, for a well. long time. We're joined by it's Jake one two three. He says up the Vale. Oh, if you could nice. sign one of our players, who would it be? You've got some good players here, to be honest. I don't really know any of them to to say, but I I think you're looking a pretty good, decent side. You're pressing very well. Putting a lot of pressure on the ball, which I like. I always like, you know, teams that press. And they're here again. Oh, it's got, oh, oh blimey, that was nearly a... Just took off his head. Well, what I would like that Port Vale have is, you know, the pre-match music, which is, is, is superb. I'd like that at Bloomfield Road to get a bit of an atmosphere going because it's a bit, you know, the, the, the sound system isn't isn't the best. Um, it'd just be nice to have, to, you know, to have... It really makes a difference. I mean, Rochdale, it was superb as well. I know it's not not particularly a priority, but it would be nice. Nick Nick Muller is saying, forward. did did we say that Benjamin Bloom's coming on? Well, yes, he is. He's, he's actually said he is. So hopefully he'll be uh, he'll be with us on Monday. Yes, which Getting a good little be, crew together, aren't which they? would be very good. John John Halley is saying, what is the story about the young player to Rangers? Did Pool do well financially? Nothing's nothing's really come out about it. Really, I think it's a very strange. Well, yeah, we got we got like a quarter of a million pounds, which for a player that we, you Did know, we, we weren't know? particularly, yeah, yeah, um, but we weren't particularly using him. But potentially, you know, he could go on to be good. And ideally, I don't think we would have let him go. But there's, there's some kind of um, there's some kind Sell of rule that deal. they can go to Scotland because it's another country and they can get a good deal on him. Basically, I'm not sure exactly how it works. There was so. a few clubs. I think Southampton were after him as well. Where they, you know, there's a clue. There's a few, but we've not we've not really seen him play. I just so. think it's an odd time for a young player to be deciding to leave Blackpool, really, because it's an exciting time for, for young players at Blackpool now. So, yeah. but you know they've, they've they've got short careers, and if they were offering him a lot of money, and it, Rangers are a big club, you know. So, I mean, would he have always regretted it if Ooh. he hadn't gone? You don't know. So. This is a chance here for Port Vale. Oh, loved it. Be interesting to see how he how he goes on in the future. 
yes, it's Tony Weston we're talking about, Ryan. Uh, and Ryan's a Rangers fan and he wasn't too impressed with signing Tony Weston. So, in the interview it's I did with him. Future. Tangerine Dan is saying, reckon the Blackpool away kit is good if it's not been released yet. I've not seen it yet. I'm, 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 I'm waiting to see the away kit. I normally prefer the away kit to the home kit, to be honest. I don't always, I don't really like like wearing tangerines. Maybe they're doing it deliberately so they can sell loads of home kits and then people have got a bit more money and then they can buy the away kits. Because it was the other way around, wasn't it, last season? The home kit wasn't ready. Yeah, it wasn't ready. So everyone was buying the away kit. And then you couldn't get the away kit either. Show under, you know, a visit Blackpool, perhaps not very happy about that because everyone had already bought the away kit. And they were sponsoring the home kit. So maybe they maybe that's why they're doing it. Actually, maybe they're giving no. them the, the, that. Yeah, maybe that's. I never thought of that really, but I guess it's it's giving maximum priority to to visit Blackpool for the home kits, isn't it? This season, which they didn't have last season, just to. Yeah, it was vocal, was it on the way? Get vocal, yeah. On the home kit, yeah, get vocal, yeah. Yeah, I quite like that sometimes. Ryan, Ryan Dumb was saying it's like a reverse. You know, the away kit is white with tangerine shoulders, which is, yeah, it could be quite nice. But I quite like, uh, what shirt am I wearing today? I'm wearing my favourite one. It's um, it's a special edition they did for, I think it was the 2011 season when we're back in the championship. It was like a special anniversary edition. 1887 to 2012. So is that 125 years? I think it's 125 years. Special edition, but I like it. And it's unusual. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a nice pull, actually. Oh, we've got a corner. Oh, oh come on. Yep. yep. Oh, they blocked he's, it. Oh, he's quick. Again, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. Kai Kai. Kai Kai, who said Kai Kai was going to score? Blackpool are one that's, up. That's a really good pitch, it that, was, isn't it? Yeah, it is really good, that, actually. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Kai Kai score just came out to him again, didn't it? Lovely. He buried it. That's, God, that... we're going to be... We're going to be a force to be reckoned You just feel season. it, don't you? You're we looking really at this are. team. We're, we are dangerous going forward. We're just actually going to enjoy. What's the score? The it's it's one nil. One nil uh, to the mighty pool. Should we do a? <laughs> should we do a Thogden? Should we do a Thogden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, that's amazing! It's the most amazing goal I've ever seen in my life. Something like that. <laughs> no, it was just a good goal. Well done, well done, Blackpool. Yeah. Is that a Blackpool bedspread? <laughs> I guess it's frustrating from what you were saying about Leeds before. You know, it's a shame that they're not going to be able to watch the team when they're finally back in the Premier League. But it's just the same with us, isn't it, really? We're actually playing this amazing football and we're not, you know, when are we going to be allowed to go back to matches? They've got to get us back. Seasider on tour is saying all the lads up top are skillful and yeah, quick. Yeah, they are. And I kind of agree with you on that. They are. They, they are. We've got some good We've got some good forwards, haven't we? It's kind of difficult to see how how Nuttall and Medine fit into Ooh. this. Yeah, you know, they're, really. bring, they're bringing them on, you know, playing together oh, in the second half. We're just sort of trying out different styles of play for maybe, maybe we'll have different teams for playing different, but we won't, will we? Because it's like the Liverpool way, isn't it? Where everyone's going to be playing the same, the same way, I guess. So, so what are you feeling? Are you feeling the same as us? Are you saying it's low? Oh, scuffed oh, that. Oh, scuffed it. I tell you, they've had a few chances. We're letting them, they're getting in Port Vale. What's your thoughts on the goalkeeper shirt? The thing was last season, I mean, the Blackpool team didn't even look like they trained in the week. You know, it was just, there was just nothing from them on a, on a Saturday. And now actually you can tell already what they're working on. And it's, it's, it's really refreshing. It's, it's completely different from last season. Jake, uh, Jake, one, two, three, Blackpool and Port Vale have a lot in common as we both have new owners. And um, we both did well last year. Yeah, we um, 
our supporters trust went down i remember to kind of talk to your your supporters trust and we're kind of pretty very much behind uh, port vale and their battle against the owners i remember we went to support you so um it's half time here now one nil up happy with that what's port, our thoughts port on port the goalkeeper fans. shirt thinks it looks smart it, yeah. it does it does look really nice actually it's, it's and it's green it's kind of it's it's minty like, it's like it? minty green isn't it yeah i think it looks quite good wouldn't suit me i don't do pastel colors and the salt house is asking oh have we bought our season ticket well we have yep got that the other day although there was a problem with the discount isn't it oh yeah well they, they emailed me this morning saying that it hasn't you know, the, the, I didn't get a confirmation when I when I sent it through. So, wow. Well, Lewis Woodhouse is saying, "Who scored for Blackpool?" So the Kai Kai. So the Kai Kai. Yeah, came out to him, just popped out to me again. Oh, something went wrong. This video is private. Oh, we're getting a different wrong. stream for okay. the second half. Have the club said uh, they will ref? Oh, it's right on half time than that goal, wasn't it? Have the club said they will refund season ticket holders for games missed if fans aren't allowed back? No, no, they, they've, no said, they've said the opposite. Actually, they said that that they won't. They basically they've got they've got your money and you know they'll let yeah. you watch it somehow if it's played. But yeah, yeah. you'll get a thing for I follow, which <clears> is great for all the granddads out there who have got have got to the latest internet computers and everything. Lots oh of people, yeah, God, know, for, yeah, for the older ones, how are they going to are yeah. they going to go on all the yeah, all the guys with the hip flats and then. The blankets. Anyway, it's half well, time. Be in the the blankets, although they can watch it from the comfort of their own home. They'll be nice and warm. Just... Yeah, but they won't. They might not have. They might not have a computer to watch. I well, follow on. The kids will have to sort them out, won't they? Kids will sort it. It's, it's, it's buy buy granddad a computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> buy granddad a computer for Christmas. Yeah. That'll be great, won't it? Yeah, but again, it's like the, 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 so, the social side of things for, for people iPad. as well, especially you know older people who might be on their own. You know, football's a big. A big community thing, and we just oh, I don't know. T -TS TSC Cider says hello to me, and obviously Jane as well. I'm sure I'm sure you met her as well. Yeah, hi, uh, Joseph Smith. Hello to both of us. Hello, uh, Joseph. Seaside Tours, uh, Seaside Tours confirmed it was Kai Kai that scored. And Joel Smith is saying great coverage in commentary. Yeah, it's a lot better, isn't it? Than the it last is week. Really, well, I'd really say good. I think it's Port Vale that are doing this, and not and not us. So the big yeah. test will be will be Tuesday. Yeah, afternoon. to see how see how we do there. it, whether we do it like we did. On, on I was saying, um, <laughs> we read uh, Mitch Cook's left foot, and he was saying that the first half last week was was like watching a match with a, through the eyes of a guy that's forgotten his glasses who was sat on a pneumatic drill and had down six pints before the game. It was that bad. Right, and John Halley is saying, does anyone fancy predicting the first two features, home and away? So well, you just goes, wonder whether Oxford away, Fleetwood at home is going for whether clubs are going to deliberately oh. request or the leagues are going to deliver deliberately put the you know the the distant ones and they, you know where fans wouldn't have gone anyway. Particularly, they would have been low attendances, so maybe they'll save the potentially high, higher attendance matches for later on in the season when we can go back. Possibly, they might they might be doing that. TS, TSC says it's a much better stream from Blackpool today, it's probably because it's from Port Vale, probably. I think we, we, we decided it might be Port but Vale. Yeah, I mean, it will, it will DJ be DJ Osei says hello to both. Hello, DJ. Hello. Would you say that as Osei? O-C-E. O-C-E. So yeah, fixtures out Friday, which is very uh, well, not as exciting as usual, but still quite exciting. So I think we'll get to see who who we will be playing. At least we'll be able to get some things in the calendar, which is is nice. It's nice just having the friendlies in the calendar to sort of have have the games to look forward to, I suppose. And I've been doing. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen. I wrote a, a match day blog from last Absolutely. Saturday. So what what ordinarily. I would do is, you know, I have my away days, obviously I go away, I do the, you know, I do the pubs before the match and, and then go to the match. So I, the one I did for the Southport match last week, which I'll do the same for Port Vale today is I'll do the blog, like a virtual pub crawl. So I'll look up all the pubs around and where, you know, where, I, if I was, if I was, because for me, 
the away days it's all about planning and you know where am I going to go what what you know what is there around the ground is there a you know a castle I want to go to where's the, where does the best beers and are there any quirky places where is there a good chippy so I did all that I did all my research on Southport and where I would have gone so all the breweries and micro pubs there's a really good chippy and I, I like drilled down into the what is the gravy any good so if you haven't seen that if you pop over to my Website, janestewart.co.uk, you'll be able to read all about my my day out in Southport that wasn't actually in Southport, but would have been. A few comments here. Alex Alex is here. I, Alex, uh, who was it commentating the game on the Blackpool stream? I think it's Martin Booker. No, I think no, I think they were no. interviewing him at the beginning, but I don't oh. think he's doing the Somebody was saying it was a good, a good performance by Martin Booker, so I don't know. Um we're not really listening, are we? Because we're, we're talking ourselves. It's a bit yeah, big too, TV too saying Martin Booker is quite a good commentator, to be fair. So I think we're, it probably is Martin Booker. Um, Ryan Dunbar read Mitch Cook's review and was in fits of laughter. Oh, it's yes, really it, funny, it is funny. It? He's very good. I love his match report. Napper's mum is asking, What do you, do you and Jane do at half time? Well, I'm uh, since I've been doing the you know the vlog i've been going around sort of interviewing fans at half time really, you know just getting interviews normally we'd be queuing up for a pie or a pint or snickers and yeah i try lucky to, snickers that we, we had I, I try to avoid the queues really at half time i don't i'm not so keen on going under the, no. the concourses so what, what do i do Sam at Thompson. I, I go for a wee is what i do at half time sam thompson says he likes sure at left back he's looking pretty tidy isn't he uh, Anderson should have buried his chance as TSSC sider. He was a good chance. Um, DJ OCE has confirmed. Yes, you're right. It is OCE. And he's put oh. a little full stop in between each one to say that Jane is, is correct. OCE. Oh, right, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Half time always always go for a week at half time. Check out the toilets. I like to review the toilets in uh, in foregrounds as well because it, it, there's, there's actually a, a, a Twitter account. Um, Non, non league toilets, where you because the, the, I just like reviewing them because they're all so different. That with different, I've always had a thing about toilets. This goes back to when we had a, a trip to Latvia back in 2008, I think. Um, just how because me and my, me and my friends were, were on holiday, um, traveled, we traveled across Europe on the train to get to Latvia for the pre-season friendlies and it's just all the toilets were so different in, across Europe with different flushy mechanisms and so I've just had a thing about toilets ever since then basically <laughs> I could write a book on on the toilets so now football ground toilets is, is a thing so you know some of them have got hot, hot water most of them haven't you know some don't have toilet roll some of them Bristol Rovers was a good one because it was in a porter cabin and the to the cubicle was really small and there's no lock on the door so you had to sit like with one leg keeping the door closed and then the window was open and it was storm dennis and it was blowing a gale and good, it? it was it was all that yeah so they, 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 they've got it's sort of part of the character of, of of the football for me so i was, I was gonna stop it david skulls so is saying jane when are the fixture elves made it easier for fans and clubs well i mean they do that the clubs are you know just going off you know my time at chase town where i was involved in the you know filling in the fixture questionnaire to request particular you know you agree particular fixtures for for new year's day and easter and boxing day you can if you have an agreement with with another club then they can you know do their best to accommodate that for you so there are and i think also uh, the, our games with gillingham and wickham i think last season were you know potentially going to be low attendance in terms of traveling fans so i think they probably deliberately had them midweek so not to sort of waste a saturday on on what will potentially be low so i think there are things that they they take into account when they're compiling the fixture list so i'm sure they'll be they'll be thinking about games maybe when where fan, uh, clubs can maximize revenue perhaps later on in the season Ryan Dunbar is saying a bit harsh on Port Vale, this Ryan. Are really, so fans are allowed in. Will we be playing the likes of Port Vale? I don't think so. Well, last year we played Barrow. We played AFC File, didn't we, in the preseason friendly? Yeah, so, I think we've got, we've well, got a better Port caliber Vail. of friendly this, this well, season. I think yeah, uh, I don't Port, see, Port, I don't Port see Vale look not. a decent test, to be honest, at the moment. In fact, I, th I thought they'd play quite well. And they're only one division lower, aren't they? They're only in the League, league 2, Port Vale. Pretty sure they are, yeah. It's falling down, it's not a bad... We've got Everton uh, next next Saturday, so it's all it's all looking pretty good to me. Oh, here we are. Question for you, Jane. What is the name of the pub right next to the ground at, at Vale? Would you know? Mm, no. 
it's been a long time since I've been to Port Vale, although I was um, I was doing a little bit of research for my blog, um, which I haven't, I haven't I haven't really drilled down too much in. But there is uh, there is a, a micro pub not very far away from from Vale Park. So watch this space in my in my blog. It'll be I'm going to do uh, Hanley and Burslem, I think. I, I went to Hanley watching the hot pots uh, last year, so I know there's a great uh, bottle craft. I think it's called the a great little micro pub there, which was which was very good. John Halley says, check out Extreme Railways Journeys with Chris Tarrant. Eastern Europe episode was good. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, wow. that sounds up my street. That yeah. Nick Muller, remember when people used to throw toilet rolls onto the pitch? Yeah, yeah. I, can't, I do remember that. Blackpool FC 04. Hello, Blackpool FC 04. Ben Garrity this half. Uh, well, they're talking about bringing him off to 60 minutes, did they say? But uh, what, what a right player he is. I think Jane's been excited about him since we actually announced um, he was signing because she, she had a friend in non-league who was telling her that uh, he, he's a heck of a player, this Ben Garrity. So um, yeah, and we're full of Garrity's at the club, aren't we? We've got yeah, lots of Garrity's. it's a Garrity fest. <laughs> Are we going to get Deacon FC? He says, are we going to get promoted? Yes, we yeah, are. Of course we are. 100%. We always believe. Yeah, Billy Allison. Yes, we're in League Two. Yeah, so they are a decent test. There we are. League Two side. It's, uh, but you did dip into non-league for did, a little while, didn't you? They did quite well as well last season, didn't you, Billy? You finished quite high up. Not a bad season for you. I, mean, I don't know if you were like in and around when it, you know, until everything got stopped, obviously. But yeah, I think it's a good test. It's never easy going to Port Vale. I've been there a few times. And it's... Except for that one time. <laughs> we smash you 6 0. <laughs> and Paul Stewart pay for us. Thoughts on Ben Garrity? Yeah, good with that, we? yeah, yeah, we, we yeah we're looking forward to seeing more of we him. Definitely. He looked very That's good last week, awesome. anyway. Ryan saying it doesn't mean to be harsh, but normally do, do a week up here in Scotland. Yes, yeah, sometimes we do, but. Is Scotchland really as stern a test as Port Vale? We don't. The Bureau right, came to play Celtic or something, but we normally play in. Some... Well, we played like I think we played Dundee, Dundee, Dundee. United, and played Cali when I was up there, and I think they were in the the Prem at the time. Um, Cameron Craig, Cameron, Cameron Craig, is asking the question: Who we both think is the best player at the club? If we had to each pick one. The best player at the club. Well, I mean, we I'm, haven't really seen Kai enough Kai, of these really? new players, but I mean, I mean, Kai Kai is difficult to argue with, I think, but also potentially Jerry Yates. I mean, if he if he is yeah. as prolific, mind you, Kai Kai is more prolific as things stand, isn't he? Because he's got two goals now. So looking on this, I'm 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 liking the look of this Keshi Anderson. To be honest, it looks all right you, you unit and uh, yeah. this Ek Pateta. We have got a lot of good players. I think looks like we? he's going to be a good player. I mean, we were reading the you know the Leighton Orient uh, fans' reactions to us taking this Ek Pateta off, and they weren't they weren't happy. They were not no. happy at all. Which you know for Blackpool fans is unusual, isn't it? We normally go on the message boards. You know what's this what's this player like? And you know they go, oh thank God he's gone, bloody garbage. Net no, always injured. You'll, you'll spend more time in the physio's room or something. You know can't score a goal for Toffee, all that sort of stuff. We normally get. Yeah, Antwi looks a player. So Antwi is Joseph. looking a yeah, player. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. he's from the academy, isn't he? Or yeah, yeah, he's come to the he's a young lad. No, I think we've got him from somebody else's academy. But I think he, has he been with us a year? Uh, but yeah, he looks uh, he looks good. Pop plus here for looking forward to seeing Dewsbury Hall when he plays against Barrow. <laughs> yeah, maybe move on. Maybe appreciate the players that we've got as opposed to hankering after players that that may not come because I think it's it, yeah it's potentially a little bit disrespectful to the ones we've got. I know it's it's great that that we want him and we'd love to, but we had all this with Charlie Adam last summer, didn't we? And it was all. You know, it was all for nothing, and he didn't come. And just you know, appreciate appreciate what we've got. Frederick Abram is asking the question: What area in the playing team do you feel we need to strengthen? Well, at the moment, I don't know. We're looking pretty good. I don't at the moment, really aren't we? Know, to be. I mean, it's do, looking pretty do we, good. Do, I mean, maybe another goalkeeper. Oh, he's from Fulham's academy. Yeah, probably. maybe another. Yeah, maybe another goalkeeper. But I don't know. when we've got the young lad um, who who came and did all right last season. So. It depends if you've got a limit to 22 players. Do you really need, you know, I think we had five goalkeepers last season. It was a bit ridiculous. We we had a lot of goalkeepers. I think, I think. I'm trying to get your pulse up in the comments as much as I can, folks. But uh, obviously I just do my best because there's quite a lot of comments coming at the moment, which is great. This is what we want. Uh, Tom is asking Lee, do you remember our romantic moment at uh, Reading away? 
I think I do, Tom. Yes, yes, I do. I do. <laughs> it's coming back to me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do remember meeting you at Reading. Yeah. Def defense. Uh, Leo yeah. Baker is asking, what is the score? It's 1 0 to Blackpool at the moment. A Kai Kai goal just before oh. half time. Uh, and just the other incident. Uh, was that Paul Vale got a penalty and put it wide. A bit of a soft penalty, to be fair. Uh, looks like they're coming back out. Um, can we get a bit of sound on, see if they've changed, made any changes to the team, um, or is there no sound? Well, there can be, but I'm just reluctant to have it on, really. Well, we need to be good to just... Mm. Jack Gorman asked the asked the quite the important question of the day. What's your favourite pie to get an away game? Um, always, uh, I would go for the, the chicken balti pie if there is one. Uh, they they do range in quality from, you know, inedible to to quite poor, really. Um, but the, although they were good at Sunderland and Oxford, they have good pies there, so that was nice. Um, if there's something a little bit different, you know, I like if the when we go down to, I think it's Plymouth that do pasties, Cornish pasties down there, and if they have something a little bit different, I'll have that. Um, and Crystal Palace, I mean, they do the best pies. They, they had, I mean, this was years ago. Whether they still do them, I don't know. But they had like really, they were gourmet pies. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was maybe something like lamb and mint with like they had um like the spices sprinkled on the top and they were really nice billy allen is asking can he ask us what our thoughts are on the playing service at vale park we've got the biggest football pitch throughout the whole of, of the uk and that's including the premier league as well well it does look a very big pitch doesn't it and it it, it looks it looks perfectly fine to me. It looks a very nice playing surface. Yeah, I think we've had a good a good summer for pitches, haven't yeah, we? I, th I think all the football pitches around the country are going to be pretty good because they've, you know, even Tramway. Yes, even Tramway. Yeah, I mean they've all had a lot of time with nothing going on on them. You know, the groundsmen have had a, probably you know the most time to get pitches ready ever, haven't they? Yeah. Normally it's a pretty quick turnaround with the pitch, but no, it looks very nice and it does look very wide. It's looking like Wembley. What's the score going to be? Well, I predicted 3-1. What, what are you going for, Jane, on the score? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like to predict. Blackpool obviously kicking um, from right to left as we're looking at it on the screen. And uh, it, was a, it was a difficult first half. Uh, Port Vale, you know, pressured. Uh, TS, there's no changes. I think they've said that um, they bring in uh, they're, they're making changes at the 60 minute mark. I think that that was that was announced at the yeah. start of the game. 60 minutes. So I suppose we're going to. The idea is supposed to tie a Port Vale out a bit, is it? Well, I suppose they're going to be making changes as well. And Billy Allen says, "Yes." <laughs> Billy Allen says, uh, "That's because we were known to be the Wembley of the North." Mm. So it's always been a massive pitch. And it looks like you've actually brought it in a bit as well. There's a lot of like space on, on the wings, really. And there's quite a lot of room. It could be wider. Look, you know, look how yeah. far in that touchline is outside. If it took it right out, it'd be very wide. We're looking for a Garrity Masterclass second half. Yeah, nice green pitch, says Heinzer. Ooh. Frederick Abraham um, says, last question, which three teams are going to be pushing for automatic promotion this coming season? Well, we fancy well, us. us. Um, I don't know, it's a difficult one, really, isn't I've got it? Nick Muller here will tell you Ipswich are definitely going to I, romp I, I, the league. I mean, Wigan, I'd like, to, I'd like to see up there. I'd like to see Wigan bounce straight back. It seems a bit cruel, but it just depends. On... They shouldn't be there, should they, really? They, you know, from where they finished... Are they actually finished? Ought to have finished. Yeah, you got to think they're going to be strong this season. So, yeah. They normally are strong, Wigan, as well. They normally can bounce and then back. We've got, I mean, Charlton, Charlton are in trouble. Are they going to even be able to fulfill the fixtures? You don't know what's going to happen with, with them. Um, yes, and... the pool commentator is Martin Booker. It's oh, confirmed, that's... which is a. Uh... Branching out, eh? There we are around Dunbar with some Scottish info for you. Shots, bomb, 
Accord Hannah Park is the biggest playing surface in Scotland. Not bad for a junior team. Wow. Shots Bon Accord. Accord. Oh, I've heard of them. Stoke isn't in the north. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. The it's, it's North Midlands. Midlands, isn't it? Yeah. Peter Donnelly is saying Potter check on for on for Maxwell. Have we made a sub change to the goalkeeper that we've not, not, not noticed? Possibly. Yes, Peter Donnelly is confirming you Wigan should never have been relegated. Nick Moore is saying that he's glad Macclesfield went down. You were it's, a bit... uh, it's, I mean, they're a mess, aren't they, Macclesfield? But it does seem, it does seem like, well. Billy Allen is going back in time there. Is Robbie Williams and Michael Jackson still playing for the pool? No, they're not. We had Robbie Williams on loan, didn't we? Did we have him on loan? I remember he scored the free kick against... Uh, at Wembley against Yeovil. Michael Mike, Jackson Mike, just got a manager's job somewhere. Michael Jackson's at Tramere, isn't he? Has he not gone to Tramere? Mm. Was he at Tramere? Did we? I think it's Tramere. I, I don't remember. He, he, he definitely popped up somewhere. Let's just uh, get back to these. Yeah, was it the 2006 7 season? Yeah, I think when they were playing for us. Jake123 is asking, Where will we finish this season? Where do we think we'll finish? Well, top. Top. Going yeah. up as champions. <laughs> yes, Billy Allen said that, Robbie, that, that uh, the real Robbie Williams, the, uh, the star Robbie Williams, has helped design the new strip. And we were actually yeah, commenting it. Earlier. We were saying you know, how wonderful we actually think that is. It's really good. It is great. We like it. We like it a lot. And if Robbie Williams designed that, then every credit to him because it, it does look really good. Jerry Yates, it's kind of got a bit an American of a, look to it. The ref, it's got an American look to it, right? It's, uh, it's... Yeah, it's just... Oh, yeah. We, yes, we have changed the keeper. Yeah, it's going to be weird sort of whether it'll be different watching these matches on TV when it's in the league, whether we feel a little bit more, you know, get a bit more excited about it than just because obviously these games don't mean anything, do they? Because no. they're only friendly, so it's difficult to. I, mean, I, I am excited. I'm excited about the way. I still it don't like to lose. Ooh, um, that's a bad, ooh, oh, no. that's bad defending. Keeper, really bad. Keeper made a mistake oh, there, and he's boy, been punished. Oh boy! One, one. Oh boy! That is. Oh god, he's going to be gutted. There, that is isn't he, that keeper? shocking. Shocking defending Blackpool. Mm. Anyway, well done for to Port Vale for hunting it down well, I mean, and I put suppose, us under pressure. But that was really bad. I suppose that the fact that we have these trialists in goal indicates that potentially we are looking at getting another keeper in. And, um, well, was it totally the goalkeeper's fault or was the back pass turned a little bit? Are we, are we blaming that on the keeper, everyone? Well, we don't like to assign blame, do we? But it was, we gave, we gifted them that one, really, and that's something that we can't be, you know, we need to be not making mistakes. Oh, oh dear, nice. looking a bit nervous now at the back after that. Need to settle down. That's it. That's it. Get it up that end of the pitch. Billy Allen says that we're cool because we acknowledge everyone. Well, we try our best, but sometimes it, <laughs> these comments are coming in a bit fast. But uh, may, maybe when we have 200,000 subscribers, it may, may be a bit difficult to uh, acknowledge everybody, but we do. I mean, we oh, like, you know, we this, like to, we like to join in with you. This passing really is. I mean, we just, I mean, we just think how we were last season. They just couldn't string yeah, two passes string together, to, yeah. could they? And look at this now. It's, oh. it's worlds. It is apart. good. This Billy, really I'm afraid is. to say for us, it's like. Last season under under Simon Grayson, we couldn't pass it. Pass it. I mean, yeah, couldn't pass, pass anything. Could we? It was terrible. Couldn't keep all the ball. So glad that. we got rid of him. Yeah. Just would so have been, right. I mean, we probably wouldn't. Would we even bother watching? Well, I did say three there. three one. So if he'd still been in charge. What's this? Ryan, Dun like Ryan Dunbar that. says that Robbie Williams should design the veil kit in the year two thousand for the millennium. Yeah. That's a Robbie Williams joke. Billy Allen, yes, get in. Says Billy Allen, excited there. It was pre good, good pressing play from Port Vale. You, you really harried, forced a mistake. Yeah, 
Oh, he's going the wrong way there. Well, quiet. Okay, yeah, we're definitely. You can tell the difference in quality between these two sides. What's this, John High saying? So, who will be doing the highlight show 2021? Not Quest, I hope. Dreadful show. I, don't, I haven't watched highlight shows for years, actually. So, I don't, I, I don't know. Beast, Beast Music. Hello, Beast. Oh, he is saying Beast, that uh, is yeah. a Blackpool want Ryan Shawcross. Ah. I've not, heard, I've not heard anything on that. It's new, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh. beautiful. Yes, two one. That's, Sorry, uh, Billy. Keshi Anderson. Yeah, yeah. Well put away. Very good. Oh, God, we're looking good already. We do know? look, we do look good. We do look better than last season, definitely. That, that's really nice that we've hit back so quickly there because they were sort of starting to look at you know a little just, bit shaky at the back after conceding that. But just as Jake like, one two three was saying, we're veil super veil from the park. You kind of trust the guys up kind front of, to kind do of their yourself, job, Jake. So it's nice, actually, that you can see the team, you know, it's like the defenders maybe looking a little bit shaky. It's actually just get it to the guys up front and they'll do what what, what their job is and they will get a goal. So yeah, don't worry. Nice goal, Settles that. them down again. And it's, yeah, it's lovely to see, actually, that. Keeper that was a bit well. slow getting to it, I thought. Your keeper there, Port Vale, was a bit, went down in, I, don't know, I thought he might, he, he might have got to the keeper, but uh, no, good goal. Two one, two one to the pool. If you if you just joined us, two one to the pool. God, we've, we've we've signed some right players here. Yeah, haven't we? I, I, like, I like the look of this Keshi Anderson actually. I'm filling up again. I did this last week when uh, after one of the goals. It's just filling up. Really, yeah, just it's like the emotion coming back of what like, God actually that was really good, and this is why. You know, football can make us feel like this, and even even in a friendly, you just seeing the, the the talent, and you know, to be playing this well this this early. You know, they've done some work, haven't they? This, you know, I'm 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 really really excited. I was excited anyway when we appointed Critchley. And, you know, I saw how how gutted Liverpool were to have oh, lost yeah, him. Vela here again. They're really, well, actually, the proof's in the pudding. You can see how they're playing already, and it's, it's a good game. This actually, it's a good, it's a really yeah. good game. Oh, oh. Is that a corner to Port Vale? Yeah, they're, they're, um, they're a decent, they look a decent side, Port Vale. I've got to say, yeah, but not as good as all oh, those seats are such an odd color at Port Vale, aren't they? What color are they? Yeah, they're all sort of a mishmash, and some of them are faded in the sun, haven't they're they? Very faded, aren't they? Yeah. We had faded seats at Blackpool for ages, and it was, it was honestly, it was a constant thing with the fans going on about faded seats. We... But, you away. know, to be honest, even if the seats were faded, oh. I wouldn't mind. I'd just like to be able to sit in one at the yeah, moment. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, <laughs> pull down the wing. He's not going to make it. Poor got. Out for a throw into Blackpool. I hope they let us back in. I mean, they are starting to sort of go, go back in, in that direction. Don't you know, they? pump it up. The pool are going up. But don't you know, pump it up from Peter Donnelly. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice to have that have that real hope that, that maybe we are. But we had it last season and didn't last very long, did it? But it'll last a little bit longer this year. Right. Also, Ryan Dummer. See, when Robbie designed the kits, do you think we need to design kits of all sizes? Because we need to be doing it for the kids, too. So uh, another thing from Ryan on Robbie Williams. Anyway, Yes, 2-1, uh, Tangerine Dan. It's 2-1, 2-1. Yeah. To the mighty Tangerine. Keshi Anderson scoring a great goal. Well-worked yeah, goal. Very well. After a bit of a goalkeeper howler, uh, some good pressing football from Port Vale, actually, which got them back in the game. We get to see these new guys, don't we? Um, Ethan Robson and um, oh. Paul McAllister. Paul Sharkish. McAllister. Hello, Paul. I've typed in Port Vale versus Blackpool live and just got this live watch along. There we are. So you, you found us through a search. That's very good. Uh, Beast Music saying, what are our expectations for the season? We are expecting promotion. Yeah. Nothing else. We are full of excitement for this new Blackpool team under Critchley. Yeah, I mean, historically, we get promoted through the playoffs. That's just the way we've always done it for, for years and years. But, uh, oh, Tangerine well, Dan thinks we'll win the playoffs. Yeah, I, I mean, I do yeah. like the playoffs. I do, because I think it's an exciting way. Finish. To... It is. If, if, it was a, if it was a guaranteed win, you, you do the playoffs all the time. But the stress, yeah. 
that it's age, years so off your lap. No, oh, I, don't, I don't get too It's going to be too tricky there. But I just love the excitement. Yeah, we're just... We are. We are. Imagine if we've got Fleetwood in the semi. God, the he's playoffs. a big lad, isn't he? Set Potato is huge. Yeah. He's, uh, I think he's the same height as Chris Maxwell, who's tiny, apparently. He is. Oh, not. no, he's not. He's 6'4, isn't he? At Potato. Yeah. <laughs> you're, telling, <laughs> you're telling me that Chris Maxwell is the same height as Ek Potato. He's to go to spec savers. I've been, I've got my bionic contact lenses in now. I've got, I've got, they've changed my prescription so I can, I'm, 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 I'm struggling to read like small prints. Oh, oh, the mainstream is on the official BFC site. Huh. I don't know. There's a, there's a mainstream on the official Blackpool site. We're watching it on YouTube. We didn't even know there, there was a, first, a stream on the site. It's probably the same, same one, is it? Oh, yes. No, he's found it. Yes, he's, he's found it now. Yes, it's on. You've kind of got to watch both things on. You can watch us on Facebook. If you find Lee Charles TV, you can watch us on Facebook. We're, we're oh. streaming this on Facebook as well as YouTube. If you can't watch YouTube and YouTube at the same time, or if you haven't got two devices, you can watch us on Facebook and the game on YouTube. I quite like their keeper kit as well. The same design, but in yellow. Yes, is this uh, wasp like Beast Music saying, see, we've spent a bit of money. Is, is, is that us that have spent a bit of money? Or Port Vale that spent a bit of money? We we have spent a bit of money. I think we've saved a bit as well. We shipped out a couple of you know high earners. Oh, so. yes, the YouTube one, yeah. Yeah, the on the YouTube of the official Blackpool FC YouTube channel. It's definitely what... different, actually, our keeper kit, isn't it? Oh, they're doing all the subs now. Ah, okay, so we need some sound. Uh, do we? We do. Because we don't... He's going to tell us who's coming on. We? we know who's coming on. I can tell you who's coming on. That's not working. because I... Oh, have you turned it... Conf... Oh. Oh. I, don't know sound on I can tell you who's coming on. Uh, it is... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah try, we've already done the keeper change, haven't we? But so uh, we've got Garrity, Nottingham, Turton, McDonald, Robson, Ward, Sharkic, right. Hamilton, Nuttall, and Medine. So we've got the two the two big guys uh coming on up front. So yeah, we've got Nottingham now. Someone was asking for, for Nottingham before, so he's coming on now. It's okay. Uh so yeah, Callum McDonald, you like him, don't you? I do. Uh, Ethan Robson and Shark Itchy we haven't seen before, so it's I just the entire team. It's, it's it's all the subs, and it? it's like the yeah it... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. Yeah. So who have we got on again? Just run through it again for us, James. Uh, the the trialist in goal: uh, Garrity, Nottingham, Turton, McDonald, Robson, Ward, Shark Itch. Hamilton, Nuttall, and Medine. Mm, so CJ so Hamilton. Let's see how Nuttall and Medine fare this half. Oops, that's a goal kick to Blackpool. Uh, the keeper is is Voity Check. It was a bit weird seeing the whole team change over at half time, but yeah, they did say they were doing that. Wow, they? Wolverhampton um, Casuals to Chase Town six. Oh, that's exciting. That's a full time. Wow, chase her off to a flyer. Wow. That's great news. Port Vale long throw into the box. Shame no fans Ooh, there to see it. So... Well defended there. Did Port Vale also make a whole team change, or was it just us? Um, I don't know. Just us, I think. So that's just the, goal, the goal machine can uh, get one in here. Yes, Gary Medine, goal machine. And it's proved not to be really a goal machine so far, but two knows. He got a couple, didn't he? He did get a couple. He scored a great goal at Oxford, wasn't it? Was it Oxford? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant goal. And I thought, wow, we've got a player here. Yeah, did all right at Oxford. Good day out that one. Good pubbage in Oxford. Well, let's see if this team plays a similar sort of 
gain to the uh, to the first team. Have the same sort of passing passing game. I think ho ho well, we're hoping that Critch they, they all play the same the same way. Yes, the Nut and Medine are up front. Big Stevie says Hamilton looks quite quick. Ooh. I think we've got I think we've actually brought in quite a bit of pace into the team, you know, yeah, from, we have. from every every player we seem to sign seem to have quite a bit of pace, so uh, which is good. Yeah, even at the back they're looking quick at the back as well. Damien Sheridan saying, come on, the pool, young talent. Blackpool have got, yes, we do seem to have some good young talent, don't we? We're going to be getting more with these academy players that we we're are. signing in as well. Beast Music says his granddad works at the Blackpool training ground. Ooh, that would be good for insider information, Beast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us know who, if you get any names, let us know if any potential signings. If your grunder kicks his ear to the ground, always best to talk Tangerine, to with pay, Tangerine Dan is saying the back four looks a bit shaky right now. Yeah, I think they have. Oh, since here they, we are. Uh... Whoa, go on, go on, go on, put it away. No, oh. one on one with the keeper. Who, who, who was that? Was it, was it Hamilton? It's a chance that man, Ooh, he was breakaway there for Blackpool. Keeper did well, though, got down, got his legs in the way, didn't he? Okay, Beast is confirming he's heard, he's heard a few rumours. Oh. No. Uh, Big Stee B is saying it's always better to watch a team with pace. Yeah, it's more exciting, isn't it? Of course it, it is, isn't it? Pace is the... Is the one thing that you know you just love attacking fast That's forward, why I used to love watching Martin Bullock. He's exciting. Tangerine Dan is saying that Ward is on another level, such an improvement. Yeah. From last season. It's good. Well, yeah, yeah, they like to think they would all improve from last season because you know everyone got, was terrible. They've last got season, a decent coach they, so. this season. It's, uh, yeah, they weren't being coached. Yeah, I mean, there, there seems to, to be genuine excitement from. You know everyone involved at the club at the moment, which is you know on the on the, on the pitch and in the coaching staff. Which they're is all, they're all pulling lacking. together in a in, in a you know in, in a great way. You seem to think, and I think all that's coming from you know from Simon Settler's enthusiasm for it to put things right. The, you know the wrongs that have been many many years with the, with the previous owners who we don't mention anymore. But oh, that's a good ball through. Oh, good pull back. Oh, oh no! He left it's it for him. He left it for him. Not quite. Uh, as, as step over, and there was a veil player there. Not quite as slick as as the no, first. It was half. still good though. There's a couple yeah. of through two through great balls. They put you know obviously one for the one on one and go on. I think it's looking very good. That's it. Put it across. Ah, oh, oh, so they're just they're just missing just they're, they're just, just missing that awareness, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, free kick to Port Vale in their own half. Yeah, Damien Sheridan saying that's what Blackpool need: pace and young talent. Absolutely, yeah, future, but, but, you, but you've got to have a know. mixture of you know you've got to have a mixture of maturity as well. Seasider on tour is saying that CJ looks the business. Yeah, we were saying the other day, Damn weren't it. we? It's just, it's a shame that, you know, when we, when we had, well, we never had it, did we? But, you oh. know, that money from the Premier League, if that had been invested in everything we're doing now in the oh. you know, the training facilities and the academy, just just think where we could be now if if that had happened at the time as we, we, we sort of expected it to happen, didn't we? And quite the opposite happened, sadly, but... But we're getting there now and we've got the right people in place to make it happen and make it successful. So. Harry Edwards is, hello, Harry is saying, if Blackpool gets Shawcross, I'll jump down the stairs. Oh dear. Bit dramatic. <laughs> so it's a definite no from you. Oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't commit to that. Yes, ha hello, Don't Liam. We, we said hello to you uh, earlier. Did you, uh, how many times we need to but Hi. Hi, Liam. Oh, a bit of treatment CFC there. Oh, the, uh, the, physio, the physio's got his PPE on. He's got his mask oh, and his, his masks and his apron. Uh, 
Yeah, who's that that's down? Be all right, who is it? I don't know who it is. Oh, there's no, no there's no. Somebody may be able to tell us who's down. You know, a bit of work to do this season in terms, in terms of getting into that first team set up. Um, you know, he's got he's got to push the, the other lads and new signings have a lot of competition up there for us. There is a lot of competition, Martin. I totally agree with you. Oh, oh, is it not all? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Is it? You're not. Oh, I think oh it, it could yeah, be. Yeah. yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. She used to have a beard. Love the pillows, said David Osmond. Yeah, they're, well, they're actually they're not pillows. They're they're uh, if you mean they're behind. They're, they're they're actually flags from the playoff final, which I've just put over the settee. So they were they were flags. Oh, he's got gloves on. Oh, he's coming off, not all. Oh, blooming heck, he didn't last very long, then, oh, did he? Oh. Poor lad. Oh. Just doesn't seem to get a break. Not all, he? honestly. He's just bet, bet he wish he'd never come to Watford. Who's come on for him? Number three. Oh, a corner to Port Vale here. Corner to Port Vale. Uh, taking a short one, pulled it back. Ooh, good ball in. Oh, well defended. Oh, Blackpool come away with it. To halfway. Oh, good keep go. Oh, oh. Pace. No, oh. just bad shot. Oh, no, I think Shaw's come back on. Oh, right, okay. Pace there. Oh, oh unlucky. And then he picked his pocket. Oh, another free kick to Port Vale. In their own half, around about mid centre. Yep. Ball in Blackpool defenders. Knock it to nobody. Ball on top in. again now. But we're still winning. CJ is quick, yeah. Tom League not all injured again. <laughs> I heard Fleetwood were interested in Nuttall. I was reading somewhere the other day. So Wilkie's, Wilkie's blog is asking what's the score. It's 2-1 to Blackpool at the moment. Goals from Kai Kai and also from... Um, Keshi Anderson. Keshi Anderson, yeah. Keshi Anderson, second half. Throw to Port Vale. Yeah, Port Vale are not looking... There's definitely a difference in quality between the two sides. But they're battling well, aren't they, Port Vale? They're, you know, yeah. they're giving everything. They're closing down and really, you know, really... Really giving us a tough test. I think it's a good game. This, I think I think it's been enjoyable. It's been pretty much... Kind yeah, of it's more of a game than the Southport one last week. That was a bit of a walkover, wasn't it? Blackpool seem to have learnt how to pass the ball better from last season. We well, also, this is the way pre-season should go. You know, you start off, you know, with the with the easier opposition, and then you you work, you know, and get 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 more difficult opposition. You know, who make better. Wookie's log said he was watching it, but he was bored and wanted to come here. Not been here for ages. Well, ah, oh, well, welcome. You kind of need two devices to watch it on your phone and kind of. Uh, John Halley is saying just had a look at the live stream. Well impressed, quick and sharp. Yes, it's very good, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it is very good. Well, and we are we are well. quick and sharp. David Scholes is liking CJ's pace. Yes, do like it. Play with a bit of pace, don't we? It's going to be where, you know, defenders I can't really just up. can't wait to get back and watch these guys in person now because you just know it's going to be exciting. Ryan Dunbar really does not want to be posting this because he'll spark Nick Muller off. Fleetwood with home fans only in this season will have the run of the place. <laughs> Spelt like place in a, in a fish. He'll have, he'll have woken up Nick Muller. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when we will be back? No, nobody knows. No, I mean, they're, they're starting to trial having fans in the sporting events now. So I think that they're, they're back on track because I think they were, they were start they were going to trial it, weren't they, at the beginning of I like, August? And... I'm liking the way this, you know, the, the midfield, the run, you know, going at them a bit. And it's all, it's all good. 
Um, it's all good passion. Live music and, and theatres. It's just really black people that are watching. So Big hopefully. Steve is saying, would we start Keshi, Kai Kai and CJ? What? Oh, oh. what about Jerry Yates? And Jerry Yates. We've got, we've got an embarrassment of riches, haven't we? Oh, blowing out the fleet with jabs are coming in now. Look at this. You started them, Ryan. Seasider on tour is saying, yes, but Harry is soulless. Ooh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ryan's saying, doesn't understand what Daw said. On a Monday, uh, we now have a new program called the Football Vloggers Podcast, uh, which kind of went on for three hours on, on Monday. It's going to be about two hours normally. We're not going to go on for three, but uh, this is featuring football vloggers uh, from other clubs, not only us. Um, we should have Benjamin Bloom on a Monday. He's joined our panel, so he should be on on Monday. He's a big friend of Door on Tour. And, and Door, Door was saying that it's rumoured that fans will have to go to the grounds three hours prior to kickoff. And we're saying, well, that's an awful long time to sit in the seats, isn't it? You, you, you're looking at a five-hour stint sitting in your seats at, just, just to go to a game. That seems excessive. It just seemed very, very excessive. I think maybe have staggered arrivals, perhaps. But three hours seem, does seem excessive. I'd have to take me cushion for my seat for five hours in those oh, seats at yeah. Blue Row. Yeah, if you're on the ground for five, you're going to need to have something to eat as well, aren't you? And how, how's that going to work? You'd be using the toilets more and you know, having something to eat and drink. Will you be allowed to take your own food in? Well, I'm guessing not because they're going to want to make as much money out of you as possible if you're in there for five hours, aren't they? What about John Halley? Well, what about Fleetwood playing games at Sale Sharks? Oh, <laughs> make it, making a few risks at the back here. It's a little bit. You kind of just want them to get rid of it, don't you? Yeah, we are. We are we're playing it around. Just, just get rid of it. Give it to the cars yeah, up but, front. But we are pass. You know, we are passing it. So we are passing it around. We seem to. Have Develop the ability to keep hold of the ball, which is good to yeah, see. Yeah, which is magnificent. I'd be interested to see the possession stats, actually, if these are even being recorded at friendlies. Yeah, it's, it's, look at good. This is good. It's unbelievable. Cross it's in a different world from last season a already. Throw in. And, and you just know they're going to get better because this is only the second game they've, they've played together. And the more they get to know, oh, look at that, nutmegged in there. Tangerine Dan is if apparently other fans are saying we're, we're trying to buy the league. Well, isn't that something fantastic? It's pretty Blackpool. funny, but I mean, it's not it's fans not are reveling. When was the last time we ever bought the league? We only spent two bob, don't we? A lot of freebies and loans. I can't quite believe it. But well, we've got players David going Skulls out is well. joining in on the uh, Fleetwood. We will show Fleetwood a clean pair of eels. Oh. oh. <laughs> Very good. I like that. What's this? Ryan Dunbar's Takeshi's Castle we go when, when we are allowed in the ground. Oh. I'm on the attack again here. Yeah. No, I can't get the cross in. What's happened there? No, foul on us. Somebody's gone down the box. Free kick to Port Vale. This is class football, says Seaside on tour. Yes, it is. It is class. It is. It's it's really it's exciting. A, it's a masterclass it? in passing. I mean, it's you can't actually believe you're watching this compared to last season. Are you? We couldn't. We literally couldn't string three passes together last season. It was unbelievably bad. We just gave the ball away all the time, didn't we? Yeah. It was one of my oh, couldn't pass. It was, to, it was awful. You kept saying to just watch, just pass really to a was. tangerine shirt, please God. But now it. we're playing football that fans actually want to go and watch, and we can't get in to see it. It's, yeah. it's just becoming we can watch it on I follow. We'll watch it with all yeah, you guys. That, that's the thing. We'll, we'll you know we'll do these uh, throughout the season. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh, oh. well played. Oh, ah, oh. mm. well played, Port there, there. There, Yeah, it? really. It was good defending. Good defending. From Port Vale. Um, Looking forward to the Everton match. Ryan's though, saying to Keshi's Castle, did I, I have watched it? I think once with the with the kids. It's, is that the one where they all shoot each other at the end on some sort of weird? Don't give the ending away. <laughs> well, I don't know. There's some sort of thing firing against 
people going around with little mini submarines so it's just very it's a very weird program it's typical chinese thing john Haley, Haley saying by the league really remember riga's revolution eight players in the office gat mm -hmm. yes i do <laughs> yes it's, it's, it's unbelievable if, if we're being accused of, of being buying the league then bring it on but you know, we do we we, we did need that overhaul uh, of the of the squad because you right, know, Ryan's season... getting as many jokes in as he can because he might not he might not be here next week one way or another. So wow. so oh, okay. So he's getting plenty of jokes in. I'm going yay, yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. They are. Hey. Up. Hey. Ooh. Oh, it's just pass after pass. Yeah. It's oh, so I want to go forward. Yeah. Ooh. It's very nice. Just imagine how good we're going to be come the end of the season. Scotty Martin says, watching this, how and thornly, not for me, get shut a nut or sign one more. Our mid looks solid, but doesn't. Yeah, we are looking a little bit shaky at the back, but is that just because of that mistake? Is that making them a bit more shaky? It's, it's, it's a you know a development area, isn't it? And he's saying that Hamilton's pace is insane, but he can't finish. No, it was a very powder puff finish, wasn't it? Yeah, David Scholes is saying that uh, the exciting thing is it's only the third week of preseason. So Boston will get even sharper. Yeah, it will. It will if it this is, is the way they're exciting. coaching them to play. Again, the, yeah, the passing's a little bit off up front with, with these new guys that have come on now. It's not quite as as sharp as the, the guys in the first half. But then it took, it took them, you know. It's 2-1 to, to the pool. Five or ten minutes to settle down at the beginning, didn't it? So maybe they just need a little bit longer. Well, Cesar and Tor says there's more passes in this game than ski slopes. Nice. Lewis Woodhouse has come back on. What's the score? 2-1 to Blackpool. 2-1. Look, but we've got a corner. Uh, Tangerine Dan says, are we moving training ground eventually or are we going to keep and upgrade the one we're at now? I do believe we are looking for a new training ground. They um, identified a preferred site, haven't they? So they're just working on, they've got like decent architects in who've designed uh, Premier League hmm. um, training facilities. So. so yeah, in answer to your question, we're moving. But what they have done is they've put like a temporary sort of like a, almost like a porter cabin building, but very, very large where the, it's got proper shower facilities and, you know, for the players and Port all that. Port breaking here now. Yeah, they are, yeah. So, oh, good mm. defending. Well then. Well blocked. And it's a throw in to Port Vale. Ryan Dunbar carrying on with the jokes. More passes in this game than the chase. Yes. Peter Craig. Hello, Peter. So the strongest lineup is going to be tricky. Yeah, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot there's of quality. There's a lot of players competing for the same. We, we look very strong up front, don't we? In the attacking side of things. just. But, you know, ultimately we've scored one more goal than them and that's it's sort of what Ian Holloway always used to say, wasn't it? That's if they score three, we'll score four. So it's the important area. Scotty's saying that Medin looks like he can't be bothered. Come on, Gary lad. Yes, come on, Gary. You, you've got to try and impress the new coach, haven't you? If you're not looking bothered, that's no good. Oh, dangerous free Kieran kick Kieran Donnelly here, reported Bale. as academy coach. Yeah, I think that's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, no, I remember being devastated when he left, actually, because he just won the double with the under-18s, hadn't he? And he, he went off to Fleetwood, and it, that was a big loss. Uh, and he seems, you know, really genuinely excited to be back. You know, he applied for the position, and he, he said he, he just couldn't see all this this revolution happening here and not not be part of it. So, mm. yeah, it's wonderful. Again, more more staff that want to be here. Actually want to be excited. here, yes. Excited to so be it's, here. It's, it's great. Seasider on tour says, we've been looking for a new training ground for 50 years. Where's Wally? He's easier to find. Well, well were, yeah, they but really did, did, were they really looking Were they really looking, yeah. Were the oysters really bothered? It, it was functional, so it would do. Scotty Martin would take Antwi over Sharkish. Kid works hard. Oh, yes. into the wall. Oh, oh, oh. goal. No. Was he offside anyway, was he? Was he offside? Save there. That was a great save. 
from an by, empty keeper. By the, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a... Corner for Vale. Yeah, yeah, that was a great save then. David Scholes says, Jane, you look a little down. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I had quite a lot of beer last night, actually, David, so that's po possibly why why I'm not quite a bit hungoverish. Yeah, I was on the went to the number ten ale house with my friend, and um, I, I kind of need to relearn how to drink again because it was a bit of a session, but I wasn't drinking session beer, and I think you've kind of got to. There was a five percent um, stout on. Uh, which I didn't. I wasn't drinking all night. I was having like half, half of the the week of blonde and half of the stout, and then I finished on a pint of stout, and it was a, it was a mistake. Um, so yeah, but it's so it's pre season for all of us in in all departments. You know, I'm I'm learning how to drink again, and it's yeah. But I do learn. I do learn from my mistakes. You know, I know I can't drink wine. I know I can't drink gin, and and now I know I can't drink five percent beer on a session. So Scotty Martin is saying, give not all how and Thornley. For well, I think you mean Ferrier, don't you? From Tramier, Morgan oh, Ferrier, yeah. yeah, we're absolutely we love him, wouldn't we? I'd love to guy him. I thought he looked a great, he'd fit in really, really well, wouldn't he? Uh, well, now actually, David says after match, get a few beers down you and your favourite chippy supper. Well, after the match tonight, um, things things are going to pick up because uh, we've got a gig um, in our living room. The uh, oh. Nearly, uh, nearly a goal there for Port. Oh, he's offside anyway. Yeah, we, we're watching the Lancashire Hot Pots. They're doing their first gig, uh, their first lockdown, like proper full gig tonight. So we'll be watching the Hot Pots. We've been practicing the the dad dance this morning. Yeah, we? the dad so, dance for the Hot Pots. Um, so yes, Danny so. Clark. Hello, Danny. You ask, have we ever been to Poolfoot Farm? That's a quality training ground. To be fair, to Fleetwood yet, yeah. uh, Sebi. Um, I've been there watching Sebi. You know, play at under 14s level against. Fleetwood Academy size, been there a couple of times. It's very windy. It's really windy there. It's, it's, it's as bad as Squires Gate. But uh, yeah, it's a very it's, it's a very nice facility. Very, very nice. Oh, here we go. A question, Seaside and Tour. What drinks? Oh, no. Hot pots are race. Wash hands, wash hands. <laughs> yeah. Danny Clark says, what drinks do you have, Jane, um, Stella I, or Budweiser? No, oh, you don't have either of those, do you? No, I had. Um, I was drinking. Um, this is a real the, the, the one that, that did for me was the Bank Top Brewery Porter Call, um, which is a Bolton beer, actually. Um, and that was 5% um, dark beer. I also was drinking the. Oh, there's a chance here. There's a chance. Chance. Oh, no, offside. No. There's the uh, Kirkby Lonsdale Brewery. I actually had a couple of their beers. Um, there's one called I think, Monumental. I was drinking in the shovels the other week. That was really, really nice. Uh, they had one of theirs, which was a thir thirst quenching amber ale, uh, the official beer of the Pennine Way. That was 4.1%. So I was sort of alternating those two. And then I think there was another Kirkby Lonsdale one that was a bit too hoppy that came on after that. But uh, So, yeah, it was that, that bank top one. It was, you know, it was nice enough, but it was it was too strong for sessions. Tangerine dancers, because we're moving training ground, would like to see the fans do something to help decorate the training ground. Like, like if we have a front gate, we could decorate with tangerine scars at the entrance. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Um, Ryan where Dunbar you, is asking, where did you find the gig for the hot pots? Oh, it's on. Uh, if you go on Eventbrite, you buy tickets for it via Eventbrite. Um, there might be a link on the on the hot pots uh, Twitter account, possibly as well. But if you, if you go onto the Eventbrite website, you'll be able to you, you buy a ticket through them, and then they're going to send the link through to access the gig. About six oh, come on, tonight. good play again. I tell you what, they're passing it around Blackpool. Oh, lovely. No, it's just the final ball. Final ball in. Yeah, there's definitely development areas in this. This. But it's looking good. Look at how they look how they pushing on. Yeah, I mean it, it is still good, but it's 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 good, but it's not right, as Roy Walker would say. Ryan Dunbar says that Tennant's Lager is a family favourite. You should be able to get that. Jane is, is like a real ales, doesn't really drink lager. Yeah, She's a I real did, ale I used to drinker. Drink lager if you follow younger. really, if you follow Jane's blogs, you you would know that she is an expert on real ale, and it's got to be something like I don't know. Orchard pear mixed with tree. There's all these different flavors you have, don't you? Yeah, I like, you like. I like the fruity, spicy uh, dark beers you like. Yeah, you? Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh, oh right. you were having a laugh. Lift it up a little bit. Who's 22? Is this this? Uh, this... Oh, God, he's out. I'll tell you what, we're creating some chances here. We're ripping yeah. them apart at the moment. 
Danny Clark says, someone with a Blackpool tracks on came to our school and measured our sports field across the road. <laughs> Who scored the second for Keshi the pool? Anderson Keshi Anderson. Keshi Anderson. Yeah, wow. So it, it is passing moves, isn't it? It's marvellous. Yeah, we could have been three or four up here, to be honest. The chances we've had. We've had like three one-on-ones with Keeper. Oh. Ooh. Oh. They're hanging in Port Bell at the moment. Hamilton, yeah. Is that Hamilton? Yeah. Another another chance goes begging, doesn't it? Just confidence in it. Just needs to get one in. Oh, watch, watch, watch. Head back. That's it. Nice, nice. Head back to the keeper. It's just attack, 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 isn't it? It's, George K saying Vale, a much better side. Blackpool looking, what's this? Blackpool looking the League Two side. What game are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> Question we need to ask. You know, I, I, passing off the park at the moment. You can't, can't get the ball. It's beautiful to watch. It really is. We're actually discussing what, what, what do you think the percentage of uh, possession has been? Oh, it's just wonderful. It'll be interesting it? to see what, you know, what, what happens oh, with Bolton this season with Ian Everett, whether he has them, yeah, he, he has them playing Barrett, like yeah, Barrett, Look at this, honestly. Oh, it's exciting stuff. Just final balls, poor final ball ins. Yeah, garbage. But apart from that, it's looking quite good. We need to get better at crossing, crossing it in. David Skull's real ale, the hot pots, you live in the cliche, just need the beers. <laughs> <laughs> well. You're a living cliche. Chippy tea for tea as well, maybe. I don't, I don't know What's this? Doing. Danny Clark says, do you prefer Ray Green? Full or time, Satanus? I think, there now. Oh, is that it? Yeah. So it's finished 2-1 to Blackpool. I'm not keen on them numbers on the back of the shirt. They're a bit weird, aren't they? Yeah, they are a bit strange. They're kind of like digital. They're not so clear. Ray Green is absolutely lovely, but the price of property in Ray Green, if you want to live in Ray Green, it's very expensive, but it's, yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely there at Ray Green, very peaceful. There's not so much sand at Ray Green. Is right, so there we are, full time. Blackpool win another 2 1. Uh, what do you all think of that? I'm happy with that. I thought it was a sterner test than it was against uh, South Southport last week. And I thought, uh, oh, you know, obviously. You can't hundred percent, you know, judge it because we had a complete team change at half time. You know, sixty minutes with a complete new team. But um, Seaside are on tour. Says what a game! Loads of positives. Great passing moves. Good signings. Impressive. You got this. You got this. Yeah. We can take a few comments now. Uh, Lewis Woodhouse is saying good game for the pool. Uh, Scotty Martin thinks we're showing good promise, but we need a few more ins and outs, and we're good. Yeah, we definitely do need a few more ins and outs. Yeah, we're not we're not the finished article, are we? But, but we're, uh, we're, we're close. You know, we look pretty close. But it'll be interesting to see as as the opposition gets sterner, then how how are we going to perform against stronger opposition? That will be interesting. That Everton game well, will be the, very interesting. In one. fact, you've just taken the words out of Ryan's mouth because he just said it. Everton will be difficult. Seamus Coleman back oh, home. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be lovely to see him. John Halley is saying we really must have a great chance. Sam Thompson reckons that we look solid defensively for the last 30 minutes. I wonder what the odds are. I think we did. I think the odds David Scholes is saying that um, the final ball will come and timing, the timing will improve. Yeah. Good, good game. Good game. Yes, it was a good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. And we can't beat uh, winning. Play two one two, not bad. The test will come on it next sat on Saturday when we play Everton. We'll see how we go on there. Peter Donnelly is saying that the passing is good. The end product looks promising. Need to improve defence and midfield. Cameron Craig very happy with the last thirty. Definitely some saw some positives there. Yes. Let's go down to the sorry, the comments are coming in now. Pretty good, good performance. 
Mark Chamberlain says he's very impressed with CJ today. Just needs to work on his finishing. Yes, yeah. it will come. It will. Big Steve B says, good performance. Thanks to us both. Well, you're welcome. And thanks for, thanks for sticking with us. We do appreciate you watching us. And to all those that catch this on the uh, – catch it later, thank you if you watch it all the way through on the rerun. Yeah, that was really, really enjoyable. That was. It's. I'm, I'm very, very excited to see what we've got to come. Napper's mum is saying, "Where is Napper's when you need him?" Where is he? I don't <laughs> where know. is he? We don't know where he is. Is he out celebrating his A-level results? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Ryan Dumas has a Brucey bonus two for two. Good game, good game. So we will be back on Tuesday, uh, just before one o'clock for the Barrow home game, providing coverage of we that. Will, for you, and, we will, and if you want today. to tune in on Monday at eight o'clock, we are live with the footballers, the football vloggers podcast, and um, which is obviously chatting with some other football vloggers. Um, door on tour. We've got Ben from Cos Vlogs. Uh, we've got Jeremy Bloom coming in, which is for those that are big fans. Benjamin. Of, sorry, Benjamin Bloom. Yeah, we, we've got him coming in as well. Uh, and then Tuesday night, we've got our quiz as well. We do a football quiz on a Tuesday night at eight o'clock. So, right. We've got busy, Dan Thickervance who's saying, average performance, to be honest. Ek Potato needs to cut out the mistakes. Need, need a few, made a few too many today. Yeah, we, we, we've got development areas at the back, certainly. Uh, I believe Everton were bringing the first team, so... We'll yes, see. we'll see who they bring out. Sure, they'll be wanting to give them a good workout. Uh, is it Wheelie Barrow on Tuesday? Oh. He says, uh, hello, Afro man. Didn't Hi. even know you were here. You've been quiet today. Uh, yeah, Ryan Dunbar said it's just a shame that Ever was left Barrow to go to Bolton because it would have been a homecoming. Yes, but it, it is would. David Dunn, of course. That's so David Dunn, yeah. 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 Not that he was here for very long, but be nice to have him back and wish him all the best right so shall we wrap that up we've got a bit got quite a busy evening that's evening, it yes so. folks thank you very much for for oh he's got a sore throat as a man oh, i hope he gets better <laughs> after all man <laughs> obviously affects your typing um right great game another win two out of two that's see you on monday for the footballers vodcast we won't be doing a quiz will we this week oh we're not it's one o'clock kickoff. Isn't oh, it? yes, one o'clock kickoff. So, yeah, yeah so we, yeah. yeah, so we've got the podcast eight o'clock with the other vloggers, uh, Tuesday, one o'clock, doing the this. Barrow match, and then Tuesday, eight o'clock. We're very busy. Quiz. We've got to get, awesome. a, we've got to somehow get a quiz ready in the time we're normally getting a quiz ready while we'll be live streaming the game on Tuesday. Yeah, so. I've got the week off, so it's happy days. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, See you on Monday. Hang on, that game today was miles better than some of the stuff Sky filmed. It's a seaside on tour. Well, well, we'll finish on that. Yeah, it was it, it was good today, wasn't it? It was a big improvement in the quality. Maybe thanks to Port Vale for that. Uh, we're not quite sure if that was Blackpool's thing. But anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for tuning in. See you. And see you, see you soon. <laughs>